Do 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 do. All right, so last time I played this game, I just defeated an annoying ass Metroid, and I think I have to defeat a whole bunch of other ones. Actually, you know what? That was the Metroid that appears at the end of Metroid Fusion. Now that I think about it. But the one in Metroid Fusion was a lot easier to kill. I mean, for one, you could just use beam missiles on it. Well, ice beam, I mean. I have ice beam, though. Why didn't that work? Does ice work on him? I don't think I ever actually tried. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, though. Even though ice is supposed to be the weakness of Metroids. Oops, how do I change this again? Ooh, spark shine. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Spark shine puzzles, no fun. Okay, so. Uh, where do I go next? Because I already checked out everything over there. And I think I just ran back over here to save. So there was nothing else? No, there's something over there. I almost missed it. Man, all of the runbacks. Every time you had to do an attempt on the Omega Metroid, you had to run all the way back and then fight a normal Metroid first. Such a pain in the ass. Luckily, normal Metroids are pretty easy now. You know what, I think I came over here in one of my other attempts. But obviously I didn't bother to explore it afterwards. Or maybe not, because I don't actually remember this, but that was a week ago, I guess. Yeah, I don't remember any of this. I should probably check out the lava. Well, that's one way to make lava dangerous after it no longer does damage to you. Just put spikes. Ooh, a save point. That wasn't there before, that's for sure. I looked everywhere for a save point for that fucking Metroid fight. <sighs> Whatever. Piece of garbage. I finally got it after only 10 attempts. No big. Well, I think it was actually 12, if I remember correctly. It was over 10, though. That's, that's quite a lot. Reminds me of Metroid Fusion, where the bosses were actually hard. Why don't I just do one of these? Okay. Ooh, it's the bubble zone. You can't have a Metroid game without these kinds of zones, can you? Three Metroids detected in the area. Are they all Omega Metroids? I'm pretty sure they are, actually. I know the first one was just the beginning of a nightmare scenario where you have to fight a whole bunch of Omega Metroids. Scanning environment. Open the logbook. I'm kind of flying right now. Uh, this area is infested, infested with thick globe-like masses composed mostly of crystallized carbohydrates. 
Those that have yet to harden are constantly moving by the airflow created from the slightest motion of nearby creatures. Only the most adaptable life forms can thrive in this ecosystem. The nest. Oops, using the wrong analog stick for a little bit. Is this a save room? Nope. Is it an Omega Metroid room? Probably. This looks like progress. Ah, I'm not fighting you until I find a save room. At least I know where you're at. At least you can run away from them too, that's pretty cool. No way to advance. Alright, I guess I'll do this. This is how you look for stuff without the x-ray scope. Not very effective. But that's how we used to do it back in the days. Well, I mean, that's how I did it, I mean. I played the games after Super Metroid. And there was no X-Ray scope. In fact, that thing's only existed in Super Metroid and the Prime games. I'm not even sure if it's in all of the Prime games or not. Speaking of Metroid Prime, I could probably play those games now. And I bet this is another Omega Metroid. Ah, leave me alone! The reason I avoided them in the past is because I don't like first person shooters. I still don't, but. My friend started playing Overwatch recently. And I have been playing with them quite a bit not because I particularly enjoy the game or anything but because this particular friend of mine agreed to play a whole bunch of other games with me that they had no interest in playing so I thought it would be unfair to deny their request to play a game which I had no interest in simply because I had no interest in it when they had played games they had no interest in either. It's only seemed like a fair trade-off. You can't ask people to keep watching the same shows you do all the time without taking their suggestions. Same with video games. I don't really mind Overwatch anymore. I still would rather play any other game though. But all of the first person shooting I've been playing recently, I could probably go and play Metroid Primes. Main reason I avoided them is because they're first person. I don't like that kind of style. But even then, I did play Metroids 1, 2, and 3. I mean, 1 and 2. And I played a significant amount of Metroid Prime 2 and 1, but I never actually beat them. And because someone stole my Metroid Prime 2 before I could beat it. Otherwise, I totally would have, that game was pretty fun. Despite the fact that it's a first person shooter. Uh, die! Ha 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 ha! Can I come over here and just hide? Or am I doing an experiment? Can you hit me if I'm standing over here? I don't know. Oh, don't hurt me. I literally have gotten no upgrades since the last time I fought one of these and I barely won after a buttload of attempts. Shit, wrong button. No, 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 no. <laughs> Damn it, I jumped too high. That's right, go away. Oh, so I can just hide. 
Oh, 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 I got him! Holy crap! I wasn't expecting that. Missed. Haha, <laughs> got you again, idiot. That's right, go away. Yeah, I'm too far away. Whoa-ho! Whoa-ho! Oh crap, I got hit by his back legs. Fuck, that's so hard to hit! It's with all these skill shots. No! I lost all my super missiles! Uh oh, I'm stuck. Damn it. Why can't your stupid back stay exposed for a little bit longer? <gasps> ah! Stop faking me out! Got it. Got his little butt. Shit. Alright, I need more missiles, but I refuse to do spine shine spark puzzles. That's right, go away, go away. I accidentally hit another one. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Ooh, I was able to go through. I was worried. I thought that was the end of it for me. Oh, so you can hit me up there. I wasn't sure if you could or not. It didn't seem like you could. Are you done yet? No, I fell. So close. Damn it, it's so hard to get these. Because they're not at the apex of the jump, they're like in the middle. Theoretically, I guess you could shoot him twice, one on the up and one on the downturn. Oh no, too close! <laughs> I'm so close to his death. No, he's gonna hit me from here. Oof. No. Don't hit me! Run away! Turn back! Oh, thank god he's dead! Oh, Ha, got you in one attempt. You guys have gotten weaker while I have gotten stronger. <laughs> I bet that floor will disappear after I kill all the Metroids in this area. All three Omegas. Man, each one of those bastards, it's tough. <laughs> Alright, on to fight number two, now that I have my eight super missiles back. I wish I had more. Each one counts as five missiles, I think. Pretty sure they do. These bubbles are full of carbohydrates, aren't they? Here, let's see if my beam weapon works. Nope. Nope. 
Nope. Alright, now let's see if he'll knock me out. Ah, oh, right, I don't have my missiles turned on. Can you hit me from here? Nope. Shit, I got hit. Time to hide until he goes away. Ha 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 ha. Damn, I'm getting lazy with those. I really wish I could shoot him without having to jump. But I can't. <laughs> no use complaining about it. Oh shit! No, he turned around! Go! Wow, I fucked that up big time. You're too strong, Omega Metroid. I don't want to fight you a whole bunch of times. I acknowledge your strength. Well, let's run away. Oh my god, I keep missing. I guess now that I've got the out of my way, I can go f shit. All right, I got to wait for him to turn around again, I guess. Turn around, idiot. Oh, ho, 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 I got him. If I can land all of those, I only need to shoot him 3 times. But they're really hard to land, and I only have eight shots. Well, six more, and I have one. Alright, come on, turn around already. <gasps> oh, I got another one! Alright, just one more. I assume. I, I saw that in a YouTube comment, so it has to be true. No, I missed! Alright, turn around, go away. Yeah, I'm not going to take a chance on that one. Alright, let's wait for you to go away. Oops, nope. I messed that one up. Too many mistakes. You'd think I'd be an expert by this already. Oh my god! I turned around too, course, too, e too quickly. Go! Ugh, that one just took a little bit too long. Yeah, I'm just gonna save him until... I'm just aim for the thing in his back. Nope. Yep, let's just save this last one. I thought I could probably shoot him a couple times since I hit him twice in the back already. And I got hit by his legs again. All right, we can do this. Just got to get a really hard to land skill shot. And I missed. All right, go away. I'll just try to land some normal missiles. I'm a lot less conservative with these things. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Turn around. Oh, did I hit two of them? And let's hide over here for a little bit. Nope, run away. Whoa. That was fucking scary. Didn't land any of those. That's what I get for trying to invoke the zone. I'm trying to go full concentration. Looks like he's gonna go flamethrower. Turn around, idiot. I know you're almost dead. I know you want to give up. Actually, you know what? wasn't fast enough. I'm at his mercy. Oh, <laughs> I just have to wait for him to leave. If I tried to stand up, I would just keep taking damage.
Looks like he's going to charge forward instead of try to go for a flamethrower. Does he know he's almost dead? Is this why he's not taking any chances and trying to charge me? That's his best attempt. Man, he looks almost dead, right? I don't know. I can't tell if he changes color or not after he dies. Missed. I still have 90 missiles left. Oh, a flamethrower. I can probably get some shots in. Or a shot, I guess. Kind of low on health, too. Ooh, that was close. Man, he rarely ever exposes his stupid belly. I knew he was super close. What did I shoot him, like five extra times after I ran into super missiles? So my theory on three super missiles in the back is all it takes to finish him is somewhat correct. Because I landed two of them pretty early on, but then I couldn't get the other ones because he kept doing an irregular pattern, which I couldn't get the timing of. Or I could, and I just kept messing it up. Alright, time for the last one. At least I get a save room for these guys. That's actually a first attempt on both of them. I guess all of those 12 attempts in the first one really gave me some good practice for this. Last one. When am I going to hit heroic mode on Mega Metroid? These ones are too easy. Oh no. Alright, time for a super missile to the back. That's right, turn around. Got it! Ha 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 ha! Oops. <gasps> oh, shit! Two for two? No, I missed the very first one. Come on. Turn around, just one more. Fuck! Alright, I'll just wait. Come on, one more. Aw, oh, you bitch! Damn it, that was on point, too. I knew I was a little bit too late, but I still went for it anyway, because you never know. Maybe I mistimed it? No, I, I timed it perfectly. It's just... He was out of range. I turn around already. Yeah, I knew I wasn't going to hit that one either. I could try to aim for his belly, or I can just wait for the last time. I still have three more attempts. Nope, missed the third one again. I'm never going to land three super missiles in his back, am I? Okay, three super missiles does not kill them. <laughs> that is a fact. <laughs> Maybe it's four. Whatever the case, he is significantly weak right now. And let's try to shoot him in his butt a little bit. Nope. And I can only hit him when his belly is exposed. Expose your belly more! Aren't you an animal? You filthy animal. I don't know why I don't take that damage up here. Oh damn, I got a couple of shots in right there. Alright, so three super missiles don't kill him. That's good to know. Not good to know, that would have been sweet if they, I finished the fight that quickly. Okay, go away now. This thing is pretty hard to beat. 
Like, it requires a ton of skill shots. Every single hit is a skill shot. I wonder how long it takes other people to do it. Because I know it took me 12 tries to beat the first one. And then I was able to beat the next three on my first try. Even the last one was really quick. That's got to be a record time for that. Of course, I'm totally cheating by hiding the little corner. <laughs> if I didn't do that, uh, I don't think I would have been able to beat those guys on their second attempt because those things are way hard to dodge. Way too hard. Okay, I'm going to go over to that place. Hopefully I don't have to fight any more of these bastards. They are not fun to fight. Mm -hmm. Especially since I'm just kind of waiting in a corner hoping they don't they go away. So I can shoot them in their back. Oh. Yeah, it looks like the stuff went away. I knew it. This is where to go next. Here, let's screw attack down here. Hey, this is kind of like the place, like right before Mother Brain. And all the Metroid games, they have a Mother Brain fight. Which is, uh, not all of them, but a lot of them do. Does Metroid Fusion have a Mother Brain fight? I don't remember. I want to say no, but it might, actually. I don't think it does. I think I'm thinking of Metroid Zero Mission. Ooh, is this a save room? Am I gonna fight Mother Brain? After the mess that was those beta Metroids? Wait, I think they're called Omega. I think they're called Alpha Metroids. Oh, I think Alphas are the first versions of them. Isn't Alpha cooler than Omega, though? No, Omega's a pretty cool name, too. Maybe I'm gonna go fight the Queen Metroid next. Maybe. I thought it would take me a lot longer to beat those three bait oh, Omega Metroids. Aren't they the last part of the game? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. Alright, so I fell down. Note to self, uh, you can fall down the water. So, avoid that. Okay, future me. Avoid the water, it's a trap. Just space jump everywhere. Space walk. Man, there have been like no monsters. This is not a good sign. It means something big is over here that it scared away all the little guys. Or it ate them. Maybe I can fly through the waterfall to get up quicker? Maybe. Because it looks like I am climbing a lot. Whoa. That background is sick. Look at the Chozo statues up there. I already have all my upgrades, right? I'm just looking at the background because it looks pretty cool. This room is massive. Is there anything up here? Like below here, or does it just take me to the other areas again? Yeah, I assume it's a waterfall again, which will make me fall down. Which means I probably could have gone up to the waterfall and just skipped all the other stuff on the side. Spider ball up here. 
because it seems too narrow. Whoa, the music changed. And the doors, they look like zero mission doors. This is a really long time to go without any monsters. Oh, it's the Metroids! Ah! Apparently one super missile is enough to kill them. And you have to freeze them first. And they should drop a replacement after you kill them. Suspended above an abandoned city are the remains of a laboratory. Scanners confirm there was extremely sophisticated equipment to be found, along with scientific data of incalculable magnitude. Only stasis tanks are left. Organic traces within suggest genetic research and DNA manipulation. Biogenic substances of an unknown age coat the laboratory's wall. Ooh. Well, these Metroids are easy to fight. The background is totally creepy, though. It looks all scientific, and then when the, the light flashes... Big brain tumors! Man, so easy. Oops. Oops, I keep forgetting how to do this. Fuck! That's what I get for forgetting you have to press it twice for the super missiles. Oh well! Out. Is this the one where the whole ground collapses? Oh shit, I can't get up. Shit, I can't get up. I can't get up. Uh Fuck. Oh man, that was scary. Is this the one where it disappears? Yeah, the ground disappears and I have to fight a whole bunch of them at once. Oof. Man, that room not allowing you to jump. I saw the Metroid back there. Okay, they're a little bit scarier than I thought they'd be. Uh oh, they're not gonna let me save before. This looks kind of hard. No saving before the Metroid Queen? The only Metroid organism naturally capable of producing offspring. The Queen is the heart of the species and mother of every Metroid born on SR388. Her role in the hive has hindered her mobility, yet encouraged the development of a long neck and massive head to strike at a distance. Her cell structure indicates she is heavily aged, possibly as old as the lab she is settled in. The years have reinforced her torso to impenetrable levels. The Queen's genetic coding is distinct from other Metroids, and she may have gone through a unique life cycle to obtain her form. Oops. Uh oh. No, take this. Uh, 
and all right so that's easy to dodge at least these are not however Die, 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 Shit. I don't want to fight the Metroids again. Maybe if I charge it up. Damn it, how the hell do you beat this girl? No. I'm dead. Does that mean I have to go through all those Metroids again? Yes. That is exactly what it means. Ugh.